We are back, 837 with the star we adore, Laura Dern. She shined in shows like Big Little Lies and films like Jurassic, the franchise, and her Oscar-winning role in Marriage Story. And now she's adding author to her resume. You guys, this is a powerful, beautiful book that she co-wrote with her mom, who is also, as you know, an actress, Diane Ladd. It's called Honey Baby Mine. It's a mother and daughter talk about life death, love, and banana pudding. Laura, good morning. It's so good to see you. It's so amazing to see you. I had the privilege of meeting your beautiful mother yesterday and visiting with her as we talked about this book. Yeah. I mean, the genesis of this book is your mom gets a scary, terrible diagnosis in 2018, and doctors are saying to her, the only solution we have right now is to walk. Yeah. And that kind of unlocked this incredible part of her. Yeah, she was exposed to pesticides being sprayed in the neighborhood and was not notified and realized that she had scarring on her lungs. And they said, if you can get her walking, expand her lung capacity, maybe it will help. So I knew my mom as a storyteller and actress might be willing to walk because she was reticent. It was painful and very difficult at yeah. the time. She was on oxygen to just start getting her to tell stories. And I said, I'll record them in my phone and we'll have them for your grandchildren because they said she might have three to six months to live. And so we told each other everything. Well, these are the kind of questions that we don't ever ask our parents. We, know, we think we know our moms, we think we know our dads, but we really don't because we're afraid to ask them, ask them questions that are very poignant and meaningful. Your, your mom lost a child when, when the child was just months old, and that was a difficult thing for her to discuss. Yet she opened up and talked about all these things. And she said that she really felt finally yeah. releasing some of of the grief and challenges and heartbreak of her life, as well as us laughing over absurd fights and silly things we'd been through, was in fact so healing physically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked hmm. at how little I'd asked her. Hmm. The hard stuff because I thought, oh, I don't want to bring it up and hurt her. But even the simple stuff, I've been raised by an actor, I've worked alongside my yeah. mother, and yet I'd never asked, why did you want to become an actress yeah. from this tiny town in Mississippi, yeah. from a veterinarian father? What was the first movie that ever inspired you? What's yes. your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Which, by the way, <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. She was like Rose, like the name I was first given by my mother. Um, <laughs> and she, your mom was not afraid to talk about death. And I would imagine as a daughter, it would be scary to even approach that topic. In fact, our first walk, I was yeah. like, Mom, what do you want to talk yeah. about today? Let's get walking. She's like, death. And she was like, you know, you got born, that happens, you're going to die, that happens too. She said, I'm not afraid of it. She was afraid of afraid. leaving me. She was afraid of not being here to watch her grandchildren grow and still has that fear. But, but really, I think she's embraced so much by talking about all of it. She said, now, if they hadn't told me I might be dying, I may yeah. not have said it all. Yeah. But she said, I, I pray, and it's why we decided to archive our conversations, mm -hmm. was that as we started sharing with people that we were doing this, we saw that siblings and mother and fathers and, and sons and daughters, they were all having conversations mm -hmm. they'd never had. And we thought, well, if this can inspire friends, we hope it will inspire others, too. So that's why we're sharing. It, it is an incredibly beautiful book. And I also like how important female friendships are to both of you. And in fact, I was just thinking, I, I think you were at like Taylor Swift's concert in the front row. You're in her video. Yes. I mean, these are these are real friendships and yeah. not just Hollywood friendships. No, and it's a blessing. Yeah. Right. And I think part of embracing the sisterhood of found family mm -hmm. was because my mom, also an only child, found her sisters, her connection with the women she worked with and, and found in this lifetime. Um, and so that's been an amazing thing. So we do share a lot about those relationships, which was really you know, an amazing way to grow up. Well, the book is entitled Honey Baby Mine, A Mother-Daughter Talk About Life, Death, Love, and Banana Pudding, which brings us to this gorgeous banana pudding that we have I'm on our table. Shock. Why is banana pudding such a part of this while I dish up a well, little bit for you? Well, I just learned this amazing surprise yes. that you all made this, which is incredible. Uh -huh. um, but this is my Grandma Mary's recipe. And by the way, it cures everything. I've never had it for breakfast. But well, I'm you're doing about it with to you right on now on the Today Show. So <laughs> now I, there's a part in the book about how one of you 
was sneaking some of this banana pudding underneath. Yes, my mother room. says, I don't remember which one it was. I'm like, oh, God, thank you. you. I said, Mom, I was eight years old, and you stole the banana pudding and hid under the dining table You know it. what I love about this book? I know some people who have read this book, and it inspired them already to have a conversation that terrified them. I can't tell my mother this or my grandmother that. Yeah. I yeah. feel like, I mean, I don't know if that was your purpose, but it certainly seems like one of the benefits of a this book. A million percent our purpose. And, you know, to be clear, again, this was the beginning of 2019 that we started these walks. Mm -hmm. And they said, your mother will never be here in six months. But from walking mm. and, and not believing, as my mom said to you, they say they're practicing medicine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to believe one doctor. I'm going to go to several. And I'm going to keep fighting with alternative modalities. And my daughter and I's love for each other. Mm. And so she kept going. And as I think she said to you, she's like, all I know is four years later, I made two movies, a TV show, and wrote a book. <laughs> so here's to well, you, amazing Diane Ladd. Your mom is amazing, and so are you. You guys pick up this book. Mm. The book is called, this is insane, mm. Honey Baby Mine. You can find more about it on our website. The banana pudding recipe, do you mind if we put it on today.com slash food? Please. It'll be there. Y'all, it's, it's amazing. This I is get, amazing. No, it's the best. This All is right. pure Grandma Mary. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.